Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Tuxedo Vale, and welcome back to the Crow's Eye. So, last we were, we got uh, mocked over an intercom in this uh, seemingly abandoned university by a crazed professor, who I happen to like very much because he's crazy, and I like crazy. And uh, we solved the puzzle. Looked like there was a person in there just now, but there wasn't. I'm just, I'm just going crazy. Oh, hey, you can pull up the map by hitting F. And you can like quick call it. Oh, so there's like, there's like mechanics to this. Okay, cause you can do that or you can hold it until that fills out all the way and then it stays until you hit F. That's really cool. I like that. It's so, like you can just be running around and just be like, oh, man, oh, where am I? There I am, there I am, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's enough fucking around. <laughs> Sorry for the lame start in episode two, or two here. At least I can have more energy this time around, though, because now I'm not recording while my uh, roommate's trying to sleep. Okay, so, wait. Yeah, that's right. Now i got to go downstairs. Let's do this! Woo! Loading screens. Ha-ha! <laughs> All right. The hell? What was that about? Can't say that I have an inkling. Hey, that used to just be a closed door here. Okay. Like in the demo. So much has changed from the demo. That's fucking cool. Cause, what was that? Hello? Who there? No? Well... You suck! Man. Whoa, oh, that's just, that's just lightning. Or, er, thunder, not lightning. I was even correcting myself in my head before I said that, and I still got it wrong. Key doors. Come and get me! What? Oh. Nothing there. Nothing here. Alright. Well, I guess it's time to get had! If they kept what I'm thinking, what I'm hoping they kept from the demo. Really? Hello? Wait, I believe I gotta actually walk down this way a little bit first. Maybe? Wait, what? It's not happening like I remember! I don't like it! What's that noise? I gotta itch my eye before I continue? Thank you! Hello? Okay, I'm going in. Anything for me in here? Hello? Anything? No? Everything's just gonna be empty? Okay then. I slander, bro. I slander. Hmm. Well. Okay. Not much going on in here, is there? Oh, well, let's go get the video, or the tape then. Teaching classes isn't my thing. It isn't. I don't know how long I'll be able to bear with this cover. Cover? While I'm teaching. My head spins unceasingly to find the solution to the compatibility problem between donor and receiver. Oh, it's that's right. enough finding an Imperial Eagle to jeopardize one of its extremities again. I only want my working hours to end to continue my investigation in the hole. Really? I, I remember finding that tape at a different location in the demo. At least it's a similar tape. I'm pretty sure it was the same one, though. 
Things are very different. It's hard to predict. Wait, what? What happened to your... What is up with your shadow, dude? What is up with that? That's not how that works. That's not how that works. What the hell? That is very weird. But okay. Whatever. Um. Hello. Uh, what did I stumble across? What's over here? Uh. Hello? Um. I don't recognize any of this. Jump scare? No. I was kind of hoping that something would like charge at the window and like smash itself against it right in front of me. You know, to make a jump. But I guess not. I guess that's not a thing that happened. Now, what a nice painting to just have it lay on the floor. Shame on people. Do I walk up to the door? No. Okay. Where's the spoops? Kinda wondering why there's no spoops. Kinda waiting for the spoops. It's gonna happen now. Oh right! It happens when I leave, try to leave the area. Here it goes. What? Am I just remembering incorrectly? I could have sworn. I'm confused. Oh, there's another door here. I guess I haven't finished exploring that yet. There's a note there. Before I grab that though, what other goodies might exist within this room. I wonder. Oops. Wait, what? Hello? <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. But whatever. Ah, let's open this. Give me the clock. I'm a collector, am I? Oh, collect your broken glass off the floor. That wasn't the joke I wanted to go for, so the, no, that was not set up! Rah! You know what, rather than... Let's, let's, I'm pretty sure I can read this more uh, fluidly if I actually just pull up the text for it. The police are no more than a bunch of incompetent brats. They've spent over a week on the case and haven't found anything useful yet. This is going to affect the university's reputation for sure. Today's the second time they interrogated me, and I'm tired of telling them about my routine and personal life. And they make a mess in my office, and I... Uh, and I have to put everything back into place again right after. I mean, could you speak to the agents and please ask them to stop disturbing us? We're all very concerned, of course, and time is precious, but that doesn't mean they have to work pestering everybody. Where, where's the professionalism in this? I'm the first one who's feeling down by the recent events. Jack was my favorite student. I hope this is over soon. Yeah, I, I can see your frustration, I guess. For some reason, I feel like the police that are involved with this case aren't real police. Or are otherwise corrupted police, though? I mean, it just it seems like it's more of a facade to me here. Like, especially with the way they're all, like, snippety with the detective guy. Where's my spoops? Spoops? Spoops now? No? Wait, what? I'm confused. There was supposed to be a spoop! What am I missing? I have to be missing something. Seriously. Well, now we're getting music out of nowhere. That was ra that's random. But okay. Huh. 
wonder what that's all about. I'm gonna take this bottle with me. Whee! <laughs> I really don't know what it wants me to do. I'm quite confused. How do you even get in there? There's another crafting booth I see actually. Didn't notice that that's what that was at first. Why do we have music all of a sudden, though? Where, where did this come from? And why? Why? Wait, was there a door over here? Oh my god, did I not try this door? I could have sworn that I did. Okay. I'm just an idiot, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? So now we're in here. What was that door behind me, I guess? Was that a good idea, though? What the hell? What is that? What is any of this? Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take them goodies. Those goodies are very goody goody. Goody 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 goody. Oh. So we've got a lever puzzle here. And it looks like people have been pried away from this puzzle before. Wonder what happened? Hello, mouse. Where'd you go? Oh, you're a cockroach, not a mouse. You know, that's actually kind of funny. Because just before I came to play this, while I was walking my dog, I was listening to a song called The Cockroach King. Was that The Cockroach King? Is that who, is that who you just saw over here? Ow. <laughs> What's this? Okay. So you can draw maps? Is that what you're telling me? Interesting. How how do you use crafting booth though? Or do you have to use your inventory? Is it no longer about the crafting booths? Let's find out. Oh, yeah, okay, so it's no longer about the booths. Okay. I'll craft another one. And then we'll craft a map, I guess. I I I don't I don't know. <laughs> But I mean, uh, oh yeah, no. Okay, so I've only got a partial map of the area. Interesting. Okay. So that one's lighting up. Don't solve it for me by light, or oh, do you, maybe maybe it'll light them up like if it takes me too long to figure it out. Or maybe it just lights up the first one you need to use. Okay. Uh, how's about this one? Nope. This one? Nope. Well, that narrows it down. This one. Now which one? Let's see, we did it there, there, and then we... So let's try here. Nope. Okay then, I'm thinking this one, then this one, no, so that's our answer then, boop, 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 we've got weird bassy sounds happening all of a sudden, not sure what's causing it, Anything over here that I... Ooh, there's a vent. And that's a note. 
Ooh, confidential note. Let's see what we've got here. Director, February 16th, 1943, Director of the OSS, Office of Strategic Services. Thank you for telling me what that was. Oh, uh, confidential. Dear Dr. Holtwick, this is the last notice we are sending you to partake in the Rainbow Project. As an American citizen, with full rights as you are now, you must comply with certain obligations. And you are required to attend our call in the event, uh, or in the, event the state requires so. If otherwise, we shall bring you here by force and collaborate or and collaborate with us against your will. Grammar? Wait, is is that no? That's not correct grammar, is it? No. Somebody, somebody in the uh, government needs some education. I I want I won't further that. <laughs> that's too easy. <laughs> Allow us to remind you that participating in this project will bring you not only economical benefits, but also further privileges, which we will grant you at the end of the project. Privileges, which we must add, will allow you to carry out your scientific feats with much more precision, with sufficient resources, and, moreover, the consent of, of the very government. As the man of science you are, we trust that you will accept a request and answer our call willingly. This is a unique opportunity to make history. Needless to say, your assistance is needed in order to achieve this purpose. We are aware that the singularity of the experiment does not raise your interest, but nobody dares to predict the efforts that may occur to the ship's crew, and that is where you would intervene. Finally, we remind you, that both the project and the characteristics of our agreement shall be kept confidential and under no circumstances should they reach the public. People are not prepared for such findings. We imagine that you are already aware of this. The first test shall begin on July 21st this year, but preparations may take several months. Therefore, we hope to meet you here the upcoming February 28th. Yours sincerely, Alex M. Brooks. Dun, dun, dun! Anyways. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So that's, that, that, that's something, I guess. Hello. <laughs> Alright. Anything else? No? Nothing? Well. Why not? Wait, anything up there by chance? Are those boxes? Doesn't look like it. Whoa. What? What do you... Wait, does that mean you move? Or why do you get all weird? Wait, what are you... What are you doing? What is... That's not normal! That is so not normal! Okay then, well, I'm out of here. Itch my eye real quick. Alright. I'm taking way too long to get anything done. Sorry. I'm bad about that. <laughs> Hello! Somebody expecting me? What's in here? I see a save point. Bye then, I guess. I'll just stay in here, saving my game like a boss. <laughs> there we go. What does this guy to say for me? I feel a little guilty. If these agents are poking about so enthusiastically, it must be because I've done something wrong. It would be a pity that all of our hard work went to waste because of me. If I didn't tell Dr. Holtwick, it would be as if I was lying to him. But I should warn him and assume the consequences. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know that it's something you did, Evelyn. Well, I mean, there could be at least maybe something, but I don't... Fuck you! <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't think that's the only thing, though. Okay. So there's nothing else for me to grab in here. Nothing on the floor. Nothing up high. High. <laughs> okay, so let's just go to this door, then. Press E to open. Easy peasy. Okay, so there's plank there. There's something here. Ooh, we got nails. Okay, then. Very well. And piano. <laughs> I still like that. I still think that's cool. Ooh, that's cool, too. Ooh, I'll take that. Can I take the hammer? No. Piano's just gonna keep playing itself over there, too, it seems. That's nice! That's cool. Ah! Hello. I must open you. Give me all that you contain! Ah! Give me that board. Uh-oh. I hear a music box. Wait, I recognize this room. There's things missing! Don't worry, the demo. Unless... I, if I recall, I was welcome, or I, I, the professor at the beginning of this told me welcome back to the experiment. So is everything that happened to the demo still valid? And this is just after the demo, going through everything again? Oh, dude, that, that would explain a lot. That's actually pretty cool, too. All right, we got I here. I spent several hours looking for Professor Evelyn O'Donnell. I've had her practically glued to me as I worked, and now that I want to speak with her, she has disappeared from the face of the earth. Seeing such a peculiar professorate, I wonder how the students from this place must be. I imagine that having to lacerate bodies and observe entrails every day ends up disturbing you. Even if it's only a little. I'd better warn the police force to have an eye on Evelyn before I withdraw from the case. Okay then. So we got some interesting things happening here. So, well, let's just make ourselves a lockpick. Hey, you, hey, hey, there you go. Thank you. Don't, don't, don't screw with me. <laughs> there we go. Now I've got myself a lockpick. Okay. So now we're going to open this. Ah, this is where I needed the lockpick, eh? Alright. Oh. Wait a second. Guess. Oh. Holy crap. Really? Really? How. How do you want me to. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! This is tedious! Okay then. No! Son of a biscuit! No. I will be very sad. No! Okay, good. I do get to try again. Okay, then. This is tedious. There we go. Oh, maybe it's not as tedious as I thought. Maybe I was just being too careful. Yeah, this seems kind of easy now. Okay. Never mind. I was just a noob.
Here we go. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Okay. What do we got? April 1st, 1947. Director Holwick has given me more time to work on the case, and I just couldn't say no. He's been extremely persuasive. I was already picturing getting back home in a couple of days. I spent too long without seeing my family. You know what I don't know how I'll bear this until the end. It's becoming more and more difficult for me to concentrate these days. You don't say! Well, I mean, that kind of sucks now, doesn't it? Are we gonna get another worm thing? No! Oh, I'm surprised. I thought it was about time for that. Letter from James Loeffler to William Holtwick. On December 7th, 1943. Dear William Holtwick, I am writing you again regarding your request for information about further side effects originated from the Rainbow Project. Wait a second, you're spelling that different now. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that, bro? Anyways. I still believe that there are several things that still need to be done, and which may of course pique your interest, but I respect your decision to leave. It has been a month since the third crewman disappeared, the one who had apparently come out unscathed from the experiment. The latest information we have in this regard is very confusing. We have gathered witnesses who assure, that, assure us that he was in a bar drinking alcohol when he suddenly got into a fight. The witnesses say he started to uh, disintegrate and integrate intermittently until he finally vanished without a trace. This added to the rumors saying that the information Nikola Tesla obtained to conduct the experiment was provided by extraterrestrial life forms, only generates further uncertainty. I do not know what to think anymore. I obviously dismiss any rumors involving extraterrestrial life, but Having seen what I have seen in the Philadelphia experiment, a crewman vanishing without a trace while having a drink in a bar does not seem so crazy. The two remaining uninjured crewmen seem to be in a perfect condition, in perfect condition, although one of them, Hurley Mac Cannon, the redhead, has been complaining the past few days saying that he felt an odd tingling in the brain, as he defined it. He is apparently otherwise healthy, though. We will conduct tests on the redhead, and I shall keep you informed on any further developments. James Loeffler. Yeah. <laughs> okay, James. Sounds fascinating. Quite. Oh, is this is this where the worm is? Come get me. Oh. Come get me. No? Man. You are just leaving me all kinds of high and dry right now. Well, I think you're trying to establish tension. I think. What's over here? Darkness. The darkness is coming! Ah! Oh, wait. Oh, oh that's just a pole. <sighs> dead end? Ah, of course it's a dead end. Hey, a water fountain. Good. That's kind of thirsty. Oh, oh, oh. Ha-ha! Got him, an idiot. I love it! <laughs> Hello? What? What? What, what was with the, the the green thingy there? What, what was that? Hello? Uh, uh, hello? Hello? Oh, yeah, that's what that was. There's poison in there. Okay. Oh, look, another note. What was that? Hello? Oh, well, I got some reading to do. Letter from James Loeffler to William Holtwick, December 15th, 1943. Dear William Holtwick, the redhead crewman is still complaining about the tingling in his brain, becoming more intense over time. We have carried out several tests, and the results are disturbing. It seems that, albeit slowly, he is losing mental and motor skills, added to the fact that his apathy is increasing. 
It appears obvious to me that this is being caused by the Philadelphia experiment, but the rest of the team fails to see it as clearly. Or they simply have no wish to see it. The doctors have discharged him and have recommended that he spend some quality time with his family. They are convinced that he is suffering from post-traumatic stress, owing to the experience he lived in the Rainbow Project. When his family arrived, I saw his two sons, who were roughly eight and ten years old, looking worried and quite fearful. With tears in their eyes, they complained how their father was behaving oddly, and the man was not even interested in showing his children that he was fine. If the situation remains the same, he might be transferred to a mental hospital. What would you do, William? James Loeffler. I don't know. What would you do, William? Probably say, spare it on the kids. Ha! I'm just a really good guy like that. Wait, what? Why? 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 Okay. Whatever. It's not quite what I was expecting. The door is locked from the other side. Well, wait. What? I'm confused. <gasps> What's in here? Looks like we got ourselves a gas mask and a lot of tape and some stairs to go in. I wasn't finished out there! Damn it! Alright, well, next save point I find. We're going in. Once again, in a very different location. But it looks like we found the save point I was looking for. Well, yeah, let's just see if there's any items to grab. Well, it looks like when we come back to this next time, we've got a delightful little puzzle to solve. Should be awesome. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, th uh, that's all I have for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope to see each and every one of you in the next expedition. Until then, though, please take care. Peace out. And ta-ta! Bye now. <laughs>